God's mission for you is faith. We just heard that in the fourth article of the Augsburg Confession, justified by faith alone, faith in Christ and what he has done. So if faith in, in Christ is the mission for you, how does someone come to faith? We're in the fifth article, concerning the office of preaching. To obtain such faith, God instituted the office of preaching, that is, giving the gospel and the sacraments. Through these, as through means, he gives the Holy Spirit who produces faith, where and when he wills, in those who hear the gospel. It teaches that we have a gracious God, not through our merit, but through Christ's merit, when we so believe. Condemned are the Anabaptists and others who teach that we obtain the Holy Spirit without the external work of the gospel, somehow through our own preparations, thoughts, and works. Now, some of this may seem obvious right away. How can they believe if they have not heard? Yeah, you need to hear to believe. But who creates the faith? Well, that's the job of the Holy Spirit. God instituted an office to preach a word that the Holy Spirit would use to create faith when and where it pleases him. This gives freedom both to the preacher and to the hearer because it means that the preacher's job is not to create faith. The preacher's job, job is to be faithful to what the gospel says, namely keeping it pure and about Jesus and not about you and what you need to do to be a better Christian or work out your salvation. Your salvation has been worked out by Christ and the preacher needs to deliver him to you. Likewise for the hearer. The hearer might be concerned about how to muster up the Holy Spirit or prepare or think correctly about God and, and his Christ. But that's not the way this works. The Holy Spirit promises to come to you through the hearing of the gospel. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. The gospel is the good news that Christ and for his sake alone has taken on our sin and defeated it and that you are forgiven for free. God has received you for free. This is the gospel, not by any work or choice or merit of your own. And the hearer can sit and hear that and listen to that and have their trust grow in the one who has done so much for them that there is, it is definitely beyond all telling. So far, the office of preaching, the grace of God in Christ, the gospel in Article 5.